Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in today's lecture, we shall talk about uh, auto tra auto transformers. Auto transformers have uh, certain advantages uh, uh, and certain disadvantages compared to the conventional uh, transformers. We shall also talk about those advantages and disadvantages. Uh, here is uh, a schematic diagram of a conventional transformer. There is no electrical connection between this uh, primary uh, uh, windings and the secondary windings. And uh, the power flows from the source connected to the primary winding to the load connected to the secondary winding through a magnetic field. There is no electrical connection. Power flows through the magnetic field. And uh, a changing voltage on the primary side uh, causes a changing flux to flow in the core which links with the secondary winding and a voltage is induced in the secondary winding. These primary and secondary voltages as you already know are related by the turns ratio. Now what will happen if we also in addition to this magnetic coupling we also provide an electrical connection. That is uh, if we have uh, we connect this wire uh, over here uh, supply voltage uh, at this point connect a voltage source over here and have uh, connect the load to this terminal so uh, here we not only have a magnetic coupling between primary and secondary side but in addition to that there is also an electrical connection such a transformer is called an auto transformer Let's uh, elaborate the working of this uh, auto transformer by redrawing these connections uh, by using this uh, uh, symbol for an ideal transformer. That is, we have connected this uh, winding in addition to magnetic coupling. We have provided we have provided electrical connections here and. primary voltage and the secondary voltage. We shall uh, uh, redefine some terminologies. If I redraw uh, this uh, uh, circuit, I have uh, this situation. So the same thing has been redrawn over here. Uh, for the uh, auto transformers, we slightly use a different terminology. Here we were using the primary winding and secondary winding. Uh, however, uh, over here, uh, we call it the common winding, the winding which is common between the voltage, uh, low voltage side and the high voltage side. This is VL and this is VH. High voltage side and low voltage side. The winding which is common between uh, the two sides that is uh, denoted by number of turns on it is NC and the winding uh, this is NSE series winding the voltage across this winding that is denoted by VC the voltage which is common between low voltage side and high voltage side and this voltage is VSE series voltage source similarly uh, here this current is denoted by IL, the current on the low voltage side and this current is denoted by IH. By the dot notation what we see that if current enters this dot then current will leave this dot. So this current is IC, current which flows through the common winding and this current which flows through the series winding is ISE. This current ISE is basically the same as IH. We want to derive a relation between this voltage VL and VH. Uh, we can see that uh, these two voltages VC and VSE uh, these are related to each other by the turns ratio because uh, this uh, winding is over here and this is over here the two volt, uh, voltages induced in this winding and this winding those are related by the turns ratio that is 
this VC over VSE that is equal to number of turns uh, on the common winding divided by number of turns on the series winding. Uh, what we also observe is that VH is equal to this voltage is equal to this voltage VC VC plus this voltage VSE. Furthermore, VSE by this relation VSE is equal to if I bring it to the other side and then it is VC and SE over NC. So here is VC plus N S E over N C into V C. By taking V C common from both the relations, we have uh, one plus N S E over N C multiplied by V C. This is equal to V H. This V C is nothing but also equal to V L the voltage on the uh, low voltage side. So the relation between VH and VL that is given by uh, by rearranging this thing NC plus NSE over NC. In the case of auto transformer we are these two windings are not only magnetically coupled, but there is also an electrical connection. The voltage uh, VH is related with VL by this relation. That is the number of turns on the common winding plus number of turns on the series winding divided by number of turns on the common winding. Similarly, we can also derive a relation between the currents that is current uh, on the high voltage side and current on the low voltage side. How we can do that? We can see that IL, the current on the low voltage side, by applying the Kirchhoff's current law, that is equal to IC plus IC plus ISE. ISE. Uh, what is relation between IC and ISE? These are related uh, by the uh, relation uh, inverse of the trans ratio. That is uh, the current in this winding and current in this winding. These are related by inverse of trans ratio. ISE that is equal to NSE over NC. From here, IC uh, comes out to be equal to ISE plug into N. S E over N C. By substituting this expression for I C over here, uh, we get uh, uh, and then taking I S E common, we have one plus N S E over N C multiplied by I S E. I L is equal to this. Uh, constant multiplied by ISE. ISE and IH are the same. Therefore, the relation between IH, IH and IL that is given by this current ISE is the same as IH. So, bring this to the right hand side. This to the left hand side is equal to NC over NC plus N. SE. So, in the case of auto transformer, the current on the high voltage side and the current on the low voltage side are related by this pressure. So, uh, in summary, in case of an auto transformer, there is not only magnetic coupling between this uh, primary and secondary winding. Over here, we call them uh, the common winding and series winding. In addition to magnetic coupling, there is also an electrical connection. So, electrical power flows from the primary 
to the set from uh, the source uh, voltage source to the load connected uh, not only uh, through the magnetic field but also through the electrical connections.